Sheffield United 2, Chelsea 2 was a full-time score here at Bramall Lane. Drama late on again as Ollie McBurney grabs a 93rd minute winner. But as you'll see alongside myself, Carlos Saba, is the man of the match today. 19-year-old Oliver Arblaster. The last month has been quite something, Ollie, hasn't it? Yeah, no, it's been, it's been a crazy last month. And yeah, it's been, I can't even describe it to be fair. It's like, I think only when the, the season finishes that I'll, I'll look back at it properly and and to see like how far I've come and yeah but in, I'm in the moment at the minute and I'm just loving every minute of it. What, what does the manager say to you because when he speaks to us Chris Wilder is very much heart on his chest type of thing but obviously he's got a manager team so what does he say to somebody like you when he says right you're going to start and get your full Premier League debut and then you play the next three games as well? Yeah no he's to be fair he just he believes in me and obviously when you've got a manager who, who shows that faith in you, obviously it gives you a good confidence boost. And yeah, I started obviously away at, away at Bournemouth, and then yeah, I just want to I want to obviously repay him and um, it's the trust he's put in me. And yeah, I, hopefully I can I can do that for many years. How, how are the legs, Ollie? Because as we say, you've had a, a massive couple of weeks, and you you know, 90th minute, you're still running strong. How, how are they going? Uh, no, it was uh, it's a bit difficult, but obviously. You want to test yourself, and you're playing against some of the best players in the world. So there's obviously no better better place to do it. And at Bramall Lane, and you could just see today we we two one down. We we still had the crowd with us, and we were pushing. And yeah, we 100% deserved that. And it gives us that extra energy when you when you hear the crowd like that. And yeah, it's a special feeling. And when we scored, it was. What, what have you been doing? Do you watch your games over after you play the game? Are you watching the videos? Because you've really blown me away with you're great on the ball and your technique. It's the way you're filling the gaps. You know your positional sense has been brilliant. Are you watching watching all your videos back and you, what you've been doing? Yeah, no. Um, Keith Andrews is really good with me, and he um, we we sit and go through clips, my clips, but not just my clips. We have a look at, at other world class midfielders and little things that I want to add to my game and. Yeah, I feel like I've, I'm growing, and I feel like yeah, I'm not I'm not near my best, and I've got a, a lot to a lot to work on. But yeah, the coaching staff here have obviously really helped me, and yeah, we, we analyse a lot, and yeah, it's paying off at the minute, and I want to keep going and take it to the next level. And how's it with the fans? Because I love playing here. You yeah. you can really feel them, and they're right behind you. Can can you are you picking up on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As much as you your zone, you're in the zone. But like, obviously, as, as a fan myself, like, just being in the crowd in the home end and you, the the atmosphere that, that there was, and then when you're playing on the pitch, it's it's a different type of feeling. You get that feeling, and you're like, you, even if you even if your legs have gone, you, you, you know, they you give you the they power. give you that they give you that energy, and yeah. you know, we, we need them, and yeah, they're they're brilliant. And it's so good. and there seems to be certainly over the last two or three games. An increase in self-belief as a team, increasing confidence, and that was never better epitomised by obviously the the way you finished the game today. Yeah, no, obviously we've we've had some disappointing results. There's no getting away from that. But yeah, we've 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 managed to the last three four games. We've we've been really together. Attitude, uh, in, even in training, day and out, it's like it's a really good environment. And yeah, we've we've worked on a few bits and. You can just see the togetherness and the attitude of the lads, and even going a goal down like here, and we we knew we wouldn't panic, and yeah, we, we, with the crowd behind us, we were capable of producing last-minute equalisers like that. For you personally as well, you you've spoken about where you were at the start of the season, where you are now, and you're just living in, in the moment. But is is there any second when you have a pinch me moment? You know, you're at Anfield playing against Liverpool on Thursday night. T today it's. Chelsea and that they're bringing 60, 70 million pound substitutes on with 10 minutes to go and yet you're here playing in the Premier League for the team you supported as a boy and what's more you seem to have taken to it like a duck to water. Yeah obviously you do look at these players and obviously you've seen them and you've you've watched them and stuff like that and you've watched them on the TV but I, I want to be one of them players I want to be 60, 70 million pound player and yeah I don't I, I, I don't settle for obviously just playing against these type of players and um, yeah I, I want to be I want to be better than them uh, but, one day. Barley, you are better than you. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted any of them on our team no. in place of you. You were outstanding. No, thank you. I tell you what, you need Carlos Sabra as your cheerleader I reckon. <laughs> the way he's talking about, no, you really were but no. you've got to keep it up. Just yeah, brilliant. Said, yeah. Really brilliant. Keep your head down and keep working.
Well, listen, I, I know you've won the Man of the Match award, deservedly so today. Congratulations, a, another excellent performance, and obviously getting something out, out of this game, yeah. I guess in the dressing room, that's the very least you guys felt as a group you deserved. Yeah, no, we said at the end there, first 15, we weren't, we weren't good enough. Obviously, there's a couple, there's been quite a few games this week, but we don't use that as excuses. And, you know, the 75, 80 minutes after that, I thought we was by far a better team and we caused, some, caused them a lot of problems. And, yeah, the point was at least we deserved. And, yeah, we obviously went for three points, but against a top team like Chelsea, yeah, we'll take the point. Thanks for joining us today, Ollie. Thank Appreciate it. Thank you. Well done. Thank yeah. you, man. you get yourself back and change and showered now. Uh, Carl. 19 years old, that, that's a pretty mature head on very young shoulders, isn't it? Well, he's so highly thought of, he's, you know, he's doing what he believes he should be able to do. He's that good, you know, we're saying that I wouldn't have wanted any, he played better than any of those players. He was well, outstanding. I was going to say, we talk about the pressure of the Premier League and you listen to Oli talking to us there, big smile on his face. Pressure, what pressure? What pressure? Well, it's just a performance and that's how to do it. He's not talking, he's not pointing, he's not doing anything silly. He's playing his football and I, I, it's just outstanding. The way he reads the game, brilliant. And, you know, again, I think the boys will be bitterly disappointed because they deserve. We saw they had the grit and the guile today. The technical ability, they weren't as good as they've been in past weeks, but they showed the hunger and the fans were with them, weren't I, they? I was going to say, let, let's talk a little bit about this game and the character of this Sheffield United side now, because yet again, they fall behind and yet again, we see a resilience, a tenacity to claw their way back into the game. And today, not, not just once, but twice. Yeah, tw and good goals. Yeah. You know, the, the first goal, really incredible pass from, from Gus Harmer. He picked it out. And Bogle going for, you know, he's had some big moments in the last couple of games, some great strikes. Their keeper's gone to, to read his pull back to Brighton Diaz and he's, he's been cute and he's gone near post and brilliant finish. But these are moments of quality. These aren't scrappy bits, you know, lowly Sheffield United scrapping goals. These are moments of quality because we've got good players. And again, I thought they were improved performances. And now this is our now outstanding. This outstanding. was the, the now we saw last oh season, wasn't it? Oh my gosh, yeah, he was outstanding. Um, you had Robbo making last-ditch tackles and now making last-ditch tackles. And Mason Holgate goes about his game quietly uh, you know, and he's efficient and good. I just thought there was a number of great performances. Um, the two boys up top, Brierton Diaz, it's just outstanding. The way he works the channels, his link-up play and McBurney, I thought he was going to come off. I'm so delighted he didn't because what a finish. Well, he, he was a problem all game as well, wasn't he, for Chelsea, Chelsea's defence? He's physical, he's strong, he put himself about, he made life very uncomfortable for them. Yeah, and it was, the whole, he was really good, but I thought we put in a team performance. They got £100 million individuals, and I thought it showed that they were waiting for a moment of brilliance from one of their big players, but we out-teamed them, and we deserved the point, and uh, I'm disappointed we didn't get free, but again, improvement, and we saw the manager and the, the coaches, they're getting through to the players and the, the, the gap between the defence and the midfield, you know, there's nothing for these big teams to exploit and it's our blaster who's filling these holes so well. Uh, absolutely. Just one defeat in the last four games now for Sheffield United. No shame in that when you consider it came at Anfield against the championship chasing Liverpool. Eight goals scored in those four games as well. That's not something we've been used to from this team this season. And next up, obviously, it's a trip to London, the capital, to play Brentford. This is a team that can go there with some confidence now, isn't it? Yeah, but belief and understanding that they are taking it on board and they are improving. Just need to tighten up a little. You know, we've given away goals that they'd be disappointed with. It's not like they're all wonder goals, top corner. Um, we're giving away goals that can be stopped, but we're improving and that's all you can ask. The fans were with the players because they're seeing that they're trying, they're giving their all and they're, you know, it, it's, it's been really good watching. Well, Carl Saba, thanks as always for your time. I think we best leave, otherwise we'll be mowed away by the, the groundsman here as well. Another dramatic day at Bramall Lane when the Blades showed fight, they showed character and they showed a stubbornness that ultimately got them a point against Chelsea.